Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles and welcome back to Palm Beach, Florida. We are on board of a flagship vessel of a really well-known shipyard with a long-standing history that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of and this is the world premiere for this vessel. Welcome aboard Grand Banks 85. Come on board. All right. That is one massive swim platform. And with beautiful teak. I'm just gonna do it. It's like seven feet or something. About, it's huge. Yeah. So this is a transformer, right? That's right. That's a transformer and also functions as your tender lift. So you would put cradles in there and launch the tender, retrieve it. And once the tender is in the water, you can also use it as the swim ladder. Yep, exactly. So I know you're totally a huge fan of these. I'm still not sold, but I just learned that you actually could take them apart and store them. Correct. Now I'm kind of more interested in that. But it makes you also it's realize so big. how big the space is in the back here. So you actually have a giant umbrella overhead covering the space. It's definitely great use of it because you will use it all the time, especially when you're out on the islands and you know, all your toys are in the water and yep. you for sure would use it. This is a pretty hot boat for this boat show because it's a world premiere. So there's a lot of people on board and we're gonna shoot around it. So bear with us. We're gonna try to do our very best to show you guys every nook and cranny of this beautiful yacht. Cool. We got a little sneak preview and it's pretty amazing. I was sold at the group quarters. All right, let's do it. Which one first? This one, the quick connect. This is what I'm saying I want. Can we have this on our MBB list, please? Absolutely. I want this, yep. exactly that. Quick connect shower, pretty awesome. And then right, right behind yeah. you, I see there's a passerelle. Yeah. I like how it's hidden away and then you just leave it open. Yeah, exactly. That's very the passerelle convenient. comes out and then gives you the option to port like you would do in the Mediterranean. It must be a really long passerelle to clear this swim platform, which is already huge. Yep. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna go all the way forward to the bow. Just pointing out quick our shore power inlet right here. There we go. Conveniently located. Oh, that's Cap cool. Stance. Check that out. Line storage, I like really that. Really nice. Yeah. Hmm, MBB list possibly? I do like that a lot. I really like that it actually. It keeps it very clean. Okay, we're gonna go all the way forward. For a second, I thought that was my sunglasses, but actually the whole color is this beautiful kind of a steel gray, but there's actually a bronze piece here on top. For contrast, pretty cool. I'd like to see that boat in profile, actually. It looks like an accent stripe, probably. So we have our side entrance here, which leads us into the galley, pretty much, kind yep. of. And the staircase going up to the... Sky Lounge. Sky Lounge, thank you. That is a very large, nice, big foredeck here. This is very different. Wow, very impressive. So we have this small little cushion area compared to the rest of this. Of course, you can do whatever you want here. You can make a giant cushion if you wanted to. This is neat. It's already outfitted for an umbrella stand here. So you can have the same giant umbrella here. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, it's growing on me. The umbrella right. thing is growing on me. Tons of hatches, so we're gonna point them out once we're in the interior. The owner of this vessel decided up to out not to do teak here. Of course, you can do a teak. We kind of torn, like we like both, mm -hmm. right? The teak obviously looks beautiful, but it's sometimes a little more hot. This is obviously low maintenance, so there's a lot less to do here. So Very true. it would be an owner's choice what Very you wanna do true. here. Totally customizable. You wanna open up some hatches? Sure. So we got another winch here for our bow lines, which is pretty handy. So I'm just going to open, you know, all of them just uh, to because see. Because you can? Because I can. So here is our windlass for the anchor, which is, I haven't even seen it. Yeah, very large ultra anchor all the way forward, so you don't even see it on the top here. Anyways, our windlass axis, as well as the safety line and so on. Emergency winch handle right there. 
if you ever had to do it like a free fall. Oh, I like that it's stored right there. You don't need to go searching for it. So then two equal access hatches here for the anchor locker or fender storage. Oh, wow. Look at this. First of all, Whoa. this yeah. is a pretty large fender, that right? That is a very big fender. Can you please look at this? In case you were missing the teak, there's a little teak for you. It goes all the way down there. And the anchor locker. Wow. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. Oh, what a great space. And that you can hang lines here and everything. Yeah. Well laid out. So we have two of them you know, yeah. equally. I can't believe they actually put the teak in there. Now we're gonna go check out the cockpit and fight our way through. Tons of people trying to see this boat. <laughs> So definitely want to point out what you really love is the overhang. A big overhang. But how tall is this? This is so <laughs> tall. It's really tall, yeah. I mean, this whole yacht feels really tall and we haven't even been in the interior yet. So true, I'm, true, I mean, true. we have, but you guys haven't been in the interior yet. So just wait for it. Yeah. As soon as we can, there's some people. Some people there trying to buy one of these. Have to be respectful of that. So coming to the cockpit. Wow. Yeah, I'd say. And here's our tea. Our tea comes in here. Really beautiful. You have a sitting area for ten. easily 10. Yeah, the beautiful grand banks hatched into the wood. Really nice. So what do we have here? Really good size entertainment bar here. So we have a sink here. Oh, I like this closures. Proper I just remember that I like this closures. And proper Pro trash proper area. Proper trash here. Some drawers. Great closing mechanism. Yeah, Lunch. really nice. Drawers, <laughs> lunch, and a couple of drink fridges. So. How do you like the finishing on the fridges? Oh yeah, it's very nice. So as you guys can tell, this is open. So this is a lowering window. How lowering beautiful window. is that? Really, really cool. And That's then amazing. on our port, we have an entrance to the crew quarters from here, which we're gonna check out later. And trust me, you wanna stay for this. All right, let's check out the interior. Welcome to the beautiful interior of the Grand Banks 85. This is a very large sitting area. Okay, this is kind of unusual. Look how tall this is. It's like super extra comfy. tall, so super, super comfy. Yeah. yeah, I just want to sit on that couch. And now we can really get an idea how big the windows actually are. Yeah. They're and the headroom. Huge. I mean, I can't even reach it. Oh, my tippy toes. Oh, yeah. wow, that's soft. That's probably really great sound absorbent right there. And you've got a rail. If you can reach it. If you can. <laughs> <laughs> Really nice. And now we've got a pop-up TV right here that's coming out. There's some storage there, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yep. little storage right here. Everything is soft closing, really nice. Of course, as it's being a semi-custom, you can probably decide whatever you want to do here. So it's a bit of a blank canvas. So immediately what I noticed is the wood. It looks and feels just amazing. I don't know if you guys remember seeing the tour of Palm Beach, which is GB Marine Group as well. And we were obsessed with that teak and that wood on the boat. It's the same thing here. So it's actually teak with the Japanese stain. So that's amazing. pretty beautiful. Let's keep going forward. You walk by the most important part here. Yes, we've got a wine cooler. Wine Wait, cooler. I open wine coolers. Right. Wine cooler. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we've got tons of storage here, some drawers. I really like these mechanisms. We've got some stemware and stuff here. So all your dishware and stemware is nicely organized oh, in here. There's more if you come around here. There's a little bit more here. And the proper format dining area here. For six. For six, yeah. With pretty large chairs actually. So it could probably fit more people. All right, I'm excited to show you the galley. Keep coming forward. Check this out. As Rico would say, a galley style galley. <laughs> It uh, is. It's a galley it style is galley. It's a galley style galley. So, anyway, so we have a. This, oh, it's that fancy brand, but I still don't know how to pronounce it. It's a German fancy brand which also builds huge mobile cranes. Yes. Yeah. How do you say it? Liebherr. Liebherr. Oh, it's actually not that difficult. But you guys were like showing off last time with your German and Dutch accent. Oh. Beautiful fridge and a freezer. Oh, this is a must. Oh, how cool is that? Love it. Spice slash bottle rack here for your pantry. oils and pantry yep drawers we got a few of them we have an oven a four burner induction cooktop and we have a microwave right here a hood vent some storage here more storage actually good amount of storage i can't skip past this so i think since i'm going this way right second sink this has very little to do with the galley but it is a very important piece of equipment here 
A gaming station. Explain. No. Okay, so we have a kind of like a lower, not helm, but like a the docking like station. Like a remote let's call docking, it, let's, yeah. let's call it the docking station. So we got our bow thruster control here, windshield wiper controls, joystick for the Volvo Penters, and then also a Garmin chart plotter, which is mounted right forward here. So if you're down here on a longer crossing, make yourself a sandwich or get a Grab a coffee, I'm whatever it might cooking be. cooking a pasta in Rico's case. You can still adjust cores if something comes up you want to avoid. Or also for docking, since the side door is right next to it, that would make a great station to actually dock the boat to starboard. I've never seen anything like this one, have you? No. That's definitely very unique. That's definitely unique. Somebody told me I cannot say very unique because unique is already, it's already very unique. Yes, you can right. say very. We have a trash can here, sink, I'm sure there's storage underneath, storage underneath. And it's gotta be my best friend. Dishwasher and the freezer. Oh, I got a separate freezer. That's a must have, an extra freezer. Really like that. And check out these mechanisms. Uh, cool, huh? Yeah. And it's a really deep storage Lots in there. Lots of space in there. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. And then, I mean, keep in mind that none of your dishware or stemware is actually in the galley. You could I mean, have you some could, yes. for your everyday. But you don't have to. So all the storage would be for provisionings, food, etc. All right, let's check out the Sky Lounge. I'm gonna go up this beautiful staircase. Okay, do you remember how I told you I'm obsessed with this stainless steel wrapped wood? And I've seen this on refrigerator doors on yeah. one of the yachts. Yeah. And I really, really like the way it feels. They didn't just wrap this. Look at they even wrapped the little ones there. Yeah, and I'm telling you one thing. It's probably a lot easier to keep clean because you don't see all the fingerprints on it. And there. it feels really, really nice. All exactly. right, let's keep going up. Look, we got it all to ourselves. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's do it quick before people show up. Huge sky lounge. Whoa. That is, oh, this a is cool. very large sunroof, openable sunroof. Not this just is that. So cool. You also have drop down window here to starboard. All giant window. Drop down window to the aft, including another sliding door, of course, to go in and out. This feels phenomenal. Up I here. don't really almost see a point in having a traditional flybridge, but you can. You can on this yacht. It's an option. But with this many windows to be able to open and the roof is opening, it's kind of like. I would take that option. Yeah, this is pretty cool because yeah. you get the best of both worlds. Exactly. It totally works. Exactly. All right, let's check this out. One step up. Yes. And then another step up because obviously you want to be comfortable. Ooh, that's got really good shocks. <laughs> Yeah, lots of storage. A very large helm bench for easy three people. Again, open window to starboard for docking, super easy. We have a whole schematics of the boat here where you see all your crucial yacht indicator lights. For example, indicators for the navigation lights, indicators for the bilge pumps, indicators for the engine room blowers, etc. So you would have everything here that would just, the light would come on and you would have a visual warning that something is wrong and also to see what's on. Like if a bilge pump turns on, you obviously want to be notified and want to see that. So then we have here the Volvo IPS joystick we got the anchor remote and chain counter right here engine shift and throttle controls the Volvo Penta ignition and start stop buttons then we have a flare camera remote here a beautiful helm wheel with the GB logo on it the side power bell thruster unit we got the Volvo Penta engine monitor here so this is something I've actually not seen at the helm which normally can be controlled on an iPad or any kind of other tabloid this is a control for the audiovisual system so you can pick the zone and control the volume right here which comes in pretty handy because when you want to dock the boat or something is going on you need to communicate with somebody music is on you you know you want to be able to quickly turn things down or if your favorite song comes on maybe you want to turn quickly things up that's what i'm talking about <laughs> then here we have the typical switches we see of course at the helm station we have the horn switch windless navigation lights lights in general here and then remotes for the electric windows and the sunroof then three garmin chart plotters so you can pick and choose what did i say before choose and pick choose and pick <laughs> You can pick and choose what you want to have on each chart plotter. Of course, they're all tied together. So you can have the radar on one, chart plotter on one, and then whatever the you know, soundings of the fish finder on the You're other one. spending a lot of time at this beautiful helm here. We should probably point out that if you guys are not familiar with V-Warp, 
which is what I have recently learned is kind of like the DNA, right? Yeah, it's basically a DNA of the whole GB Marine Group, like all the yachts that they're producing, which is basically a combination of hull design, the V, the construction techniques and the exotic materials that they're using with a heavy use of carbon fiber. So like on this portion of the yacht that we're standing right now, this is all carbon fiber. Makes sense, keeping the weight down below, center of gravity as low as possible. The V-Warp technology is allowing this vessel to be very fuel efficient. I mean, not to jump ahead before we see the engine room, but this vessel actually has a range of a thousand nautica miles at 20 knots, which only burns 57 gallons an hour. I mean, I don't want to say that this is, you know, the most greenest boat on the planet possible. Yeah, no possible, one is saying that it's in, but, it, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Which and is, comparing it to competitors, correct. it's very fuel efficient. So now drop that down to 10 knots, we got a range of 3,000 nautical miles. Yeah, and as our gas prices are going up right now, some of you might think like, wow, this is really, really interesting. You should definitely give them a call. I was pretty impressed. All right, let's keep going. There's let's a lot keep more going. to see. So we have a little bit of storage here as well. Storage here, not a little bit. There's a lot of storage, you guys. <laughs> this is so interesting because you basically have an interior entertainment bar here and there's still a whole extension out there. So it's pretty awesome. Let's start with the interior one. Okay, okay, it's a lot to open up. Okay, we have a drink fridge. Drawers, storage. No, really? <gasps> no, 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 Mele. Mele? <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, I really would like that. If we ever ended up with such a big area, that can we have a second one up? But I mean, but, but think about it. Like, so if you use glasses up yeah. here, dishware up here, you really want to walk up and down with no. everything. And you to want to store it here, so it doesn't make any 100 sense. Makes 100% sense having a dishwasher up here. Brilliant. All right. So, of course, massive sitting area here. Again, you probably can up out to do anything you want here just because it's semi-custom. So you have a lot of different possibilities. And you have a huge pop-up TV that comes out of here. Great space to watch it. And I'm gonna point out again why I like this whole Sky Lounge idea is because on the really hot days, you can still close it up, put a really good AC in. If it's really crappy weather, same thing, super cozy and comfy. You don't have to think about the enclosure and all of that. So really the best of both worlds with the way they opened everything up. Love it. Okay, let's go aft. And so this is a continuation of our entertainment area on the exterior. So we have another sink here because, you know, one wasn't enough there. So I have some trash here. Oh, this is brilliant. Why would you ever go downstairs? You have everything up here you right. want. Have an ice maker. Have a great ice maker there. Drink fridge, glass bottom. Two fridges, right? Mm -hmm. Another one, some storage here and some drawers. There's your standware, There's like your you said. There's your standware again, yeah. yeah. I, love it. I mean, it's just great. Okay, so here is a bit of a blank. Well, hang on, hang on. What? What, 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 what the... Uh, you want me to open it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, I... I'll open it. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're gonna get into this argument again. It's an electric grill. Just call it with... electric grill. I know, but you know the Australians, they call it something else, and then the Americans call it something else. You guys know. Anyway, you know what this is. You there's can also, cook food on yes, there. Yes, there's also griddle here. I don't want to get in all these discussions. A at very important part of the entertainment space. At the same time, it's also your gym. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly, my gym. All right, and then on this side, we have a high-low table. Ooh, nice touch. And a beautiful sitting area here, so you can lower it, have a, a nice cocktail space. So there is a cover that goes on top of this, so you can actually have like an extra layout. Like a, so, like a whole like, like sun a pad. napping spot or napping spot yeah and still plenty of space for a dance floor yeah a dj sun setup loungers, yeah 100 and loose furniture whatever you want to put on there maybe lounge furniture there's so much space still up here it's a blank slate so whatever you want to do you have the space actually you know what i've never seen these have you ever seen this before i've never seen it actually being extended just out from the railing I that that's nicely integrated yeah looks like carbon fiber so it's super light and just put it away all the coolest stuff is still left state rooms yeah the master and you guys i'm telling you those crew quarters and the engine room rico is like super stoked about this engine one. engine rooms. rooms okay let's do it now we're gonna make our way down and see the state rooms and the master You miss First, storage. I know, but there's storage everywhere. I mean, they I know, really I know. made an effort to just add storage everywhere they could. I mean, they know what's important. So for sure, it's everywhere. Is it not some kind of breakers for sure storage? Huh, look at all this. 
lots of switches. Again, like I like it when it's easily and conveniently located. The staircase, entrance, exit area. So this is fantastic here. We have our generator controls, two generators, Fisher Panda generators, then two water maker remote controls are right here. Isolator switches for the batteries, and then all our low voltage and high voltage breakers. Can't believe you're gonna pretend that was storage. I knew it. All right, this is a day head and it has a shower in it. How cool is that? And it's so gorgeous with the teak. Are you serious? Look Very at this. Very nice. And it also even has a really large openable hatch up above. Huge mirror. Yeah. I mean, you would use this all the time for entertainment. That's great. And it's great location because you come down from the Sky Lounge, it's right here. It's kind of right in the middle. Great spot for it. All right, let's go check out the state rooms. Hang on, what's here? Storage, okay. Just keep thinking that you missed something <laughs> important okay. that okay. you're supposed to find All out. Right, let's All go. right, can you follow me? Okay, so first on our starboard, we have a double cabin here. That's gorgeous. I mean, the teak and the wood just continues throughout. I really like the contrast, the way they did this, like a lighter upper, and it's all like padded, so sound absorbent. The sound in here is very nice. Yeah. So we have some storages here, drawers underneath the bed. We also have drawers here, and we have a, a hanging locker right here. TV right there, and wow, this teak. Oh, it's just so nice. It's beautiful. I like this indirect light here. Yeah, it's everywhere. Even in a galley, we didn't point that out, but there's beautiful indirect lighting in a yeah. galley. There's our other hatch that we saw from exterior. Uh -huh. And look, 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 it's on our NPB list. Oh, and it's warm. Oh, it's hot almost. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and oh, these wow. towels are, oh, these towels are gonna be nice I don't think we warm. need the heater right now. No, it's really nice. It's a really beautiful shower. Hey, you know what? I like how they did this as well. This looks like it's finished the same way. Let's keep going. I mean, there's just so much to open, you guys. Let's so, we'll open something in a master. How cabin about that? number one. Okay, so now we're going all the way forward into our VIP, which we have a queen size bed. Wow. This is a really beamy VIP. And a really low bed. Yes, you have a great amount of headroom. Oh, actually, now you're saying it, it's very tall. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the hatch here as well. Oh, there's so much heat coming in from like, outside, it's really warm out. All of these are storages. Just to one. Mm -hmm. Right here we have a hanging locker. Actually on both sides it's equal. Beautiful and it's got a nice light in there. Really bright. So there's a little poof here if you want to sit down and you know work a little bit. The acoustics are beautiful in here, right? Yeah, it's And I like quiet. the way this is finished. It's like framed out. It's pretty beautiful. And now we have an ensuite here as well. I'm gonna stop drooling over this teak but gosh it's nice. I mean I would literally feel bad showering over it because it's so pretty. I love this really teak finishes. So tons of storage in here as well. And now we're gonna go check out the master. Before we get to the master, actually, we have a little, as they call it, grandkids cabin here to show you guys. Oh wow, two bunk beds. Yeah, very cute. It has a beautiful big window. Yeah, it's just a little kid's cabin, overflow, pretty nice. And now we're coming to our master. Wow, this is a huge closet. Beautiful Look, closet, with, with yeah. With a nice LED in there, very nice. Yeah, and so we have that on both sides. Nice, big built-in TV. Which looks like you can tilt around. It's not the same like on this side. It's not? Oh, yeah, there's a bit of a side storage in here with shelves. Oh, this is the first time you're pressuring me to open something. Interesting. We have something special, which was, of course, at the request of this owner. There is a piano. Uh, I mean, and there's pedals that come out right an there. An electric piano. Yeah. Wow. How cool is that? That is really cool. So it was really important to the owner of this vessel to have. So there is an option to have this as a full beam master, which in this case it's not, but there's certain things they want it. And this was one of the things that they want to build in. Then we have a bunch of drawers here. Open one up for you guys. Is that another storage over there? Probably. Wow, this master has a lot of storage. Yeah, honestly, well, it should. It's an 85 foot yacht. It does the justice to the size. We also have drawers underneath the bed. What do you think about this window? It's gorgeous. I mean, look how big that window is. And you got two portholes that you can open up, which is pretty nice. And on the other side, which is going to be our port. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you get some daylight through the ensuite Correct. into the master. It's one of those that you can just 
switch off. I don't know the exact name of this glass, but it, you push the button. Privacy glass? And the privacy glass, yeah, exactly. And then all of this is storage, dual sink. All of these are storages, medicine cabinets. You see me? You don't see me. You see me? We get it. You, you get the idea. Yeah, we get the idea. All right, really beautiful two-person shower. For sure, two or three of me here. With the rain shower overhead yeah. and an extractor fan in the shower, which makes absolute sense. Putting it on our list. Okay, that's going on the list, you guys. And look, indirect lighting here as well. Very nice. You see it all mm -hmm, around. Mm -hmm. Very cool. This teak is killing me. And then, of course, an electric head and again, a heated towel rack. Yeah, very nice. And is that our air conditioner? Air conditioner. I like that. So now. For the grand finale, we're gonna show you the crew quarters and the engine room, but before that... We have the service area. Oh, wow. Screw the master, look at this. Yes. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Vectron Energy right here, more breakers, battery switches, batteries. Look at how easy it is to get to the batteries. And you will have to replace them at some point. So this is very nice. Kind of want to take a peek what's in here. Oh, got it, more pumps. Now going forward, got our air condition pump here. Chillers. All the way forward, there you see the bell thruster mounted and the thruster batteries right here too. Again, like super easy to get to and to maintain or to change the batteries. And look at this, of course, it's finished in teak again. So now facing aft, as you guys can see, we got our water maker here with the mounted on screen for the control. The filters are right here. There are all membranes. And then we have a frequency controlled domatic air condition unit, actually two units right here. I mean, again, teak finished floors, pretty amazing. Ladies, do you remember when we had the uh, wife storage thing? Well, this is definitely the, the husband, husband storage. storage. Yeah. hundred percent. I get it. He can disappear in there and be missing for like hours. All right, you ready for that crew, engine room? Crew engine room? Crew port, I'm so excited. Let's go. All right, let's go. So now we're gonna go down to the crew quarters, one of the entrances. Oh, well, wow. first of all, welcome to the full washer and dryer, proper folding area with even a little porthole. You can see how thick these portholes yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. You guys, look at this glass. Do you see how thick mm -hmm. this glass is? Yeah, it's I see insane. it. insane. Oh. Got a breaker panel down here for the crew area. Mm -hmm. Sun pump, sink, all that. Look at that. Yeah. We have two crew cabins down here which is plenty to run this boat. So first crew cabin right here. Great That's size. Really nice. It's a full size bed here. Yep. I mean, a couple could easily share this cabin if you wanted to. We've got drawers all here. We have also storage here as well. They finished it all the same way as the rest of the boat. Didn't chip it out on crew quarters, really nice. Yeah, we've got tons of drawers. I mean, most of the time in the crew quarters, you don't need a hanging locker. Everything goes, yeah. in, you know. You can make this a tiny hanging locker if you really need one. Yeah. Okay, and then we have a shared head, which is really nice. Proper shower, same gorgeous wood for the crew. Really good size. Beautifully done, can totally share this head, really nice. And then we have a closet here. A bit of like utility closet, so you know, you could put all your Oh no way, look at Dyson, this. Dyson, all this stuff goes in here, yeah. This is great. And oh, of course- And an ironing board. Yes, oh look at, look at this cute little yep. thing. Nice. Fold out ironing board. But you know, if you are cruising in some colder climates and you need something for jackets and stuff, you can always put a rod here and could have jackets. M makes sense. Yeah, like weather gear and stuff. And then we have a crew mess. I mean, come on you guys. This is a really beautiful crew quarters. Technically for two? I've seen crew mess for four that was smaller than this. This is really, really cool. I agree. Right? And then they oh, have- Oh, a whole galley. Yeah, they pretty much have a whole galley. You have a trash room here. The only thing you don't have here is a stove, which I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could put one in. You have refrigeration. Double fridge. Yeah, some drawers. I mean, I just love that it feels like an extension of the boat. And we have another cabin here. Which is that's probably the captain's cabin. No, right, I think so? the other one is a captain's cabin yeah, because it had be right. a desk. Yeah. 
So this one actually I think is a crew cabin and this has a hanging locker. They're pretty much equal though. I mean, they're not very different. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just a different way it's set up yeah. for here. But yeah, the size wise, they're very similar. Look at all the storage, tons of storage. I mean, a couple could definitely share this cabin <laughs> yeah. for sure. All right, shall we show you this ridiculously awesome engine room? Yes. One thing I wanted to mention quick. Yes. Oh, yeah, so the crew has a repeater here of the Garmin chart plotter, which also displays all the tankage and yacht information, as well as a VHF radio in case it's needed. So, you guys ready for this? Welcome to the N Note engine room. Welcome to the toy storage. Wow. Check this out. I'm just completely blown away. This by is this. incredible. Some of you are wondering what happened to the engines. Where are the engines? I mean, look how much space you have here. You Lots can of have, space. You can literally have motorcycles stored in here. It's unbelievable. Lots of space. And then look at all these storage spaces underneath. And everything is labeled in this case here. So you have plenty of storage still in these boxes to keep it super clean. And yes, you could this? have stand-up pedal boards. These are access hatches on both sides to the main engines. Uh -huh. Because, now let's peek in here. Let's do it. Here is the starboard engine room. So now you know where we have the hatch there on the inboard side, because if you know, obviously when you do an engine service, you need to get to the side of the engine. They found the solution for that and actually put a hatch in there with gas shock, so it just flips open. Please point out all the teak. <laughs> yes, we have a teak finished floor engine room. Here on the starboard engine room, we're missing a little bit of headroom because the passerelle is living in here. On the port side engine room, we have more headroom. We have a little extra space there. Yeah, we'll show it to you guys. So here we have on this vessel, Volvo IPS 13. 1350s, 1350 horsepower each. Again, very, very convenient to get around the engine. Little hydraulic pack here for the passerelle and our Raycor primary fuel filters right here. Through hole right there with the sea cock and the sea strainer. Super easy to get to. Everything is sound shielded all around. As you can see, there's a huge big padding here. So there we see one of the generators, Fisher Panda generator right there. Look, this is kind of cool here. You actually get to see it. This is one of the underwater lights, which that's how it looks on the interior. And there's another one. So this boat probably looks really cool at nighttime. I mean, can we just say like, it's not even just the teak there. There's even the teak on all the- On the little step overs. Yeah, like, is, yeah. was that really necessary? Apparently it was. All right, check out the other side. Yeah, as you can see here, you have a lot more headroom just because you don't have the passerelle on the port side here. Again, like we had on the other side as well, Seafire suppression system in this case, your big IPS units, which you know you can see there are the props underneath on the outboard side. And again, IPS 1350, one more here on the port side. Lots of space, actually. Alrighty, you guys, this completes our tour of this super cool Grand Banks 85 world premiere. We're super excited that we were able to bring it to the channel. Let us know in the comments what you guys thought of this layout and some of this super unique features, or shall I say just unique features. Also, make sure you guys like, really helps us when you like, comment, double comment, triple comment. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time and doing that. Sometimes I watch YouTube videos that I like and I, then I go like, oh, I'll just comment later. You guys are like the best. You're absolutely the best when you take time and write those comments. Makes a world of difference and helps our channel grow. So thank you so much. And if you're interested in a Grand Banks or anything else from the GB Marine Group, all the contact information will be in the description below the video. And my line, enjoy the outtakes. You just keep stealing lines little by little and soon you're going to be doing the outros, basically. I, I, I no. practiced. I practiced no. that line. I you, think it was super fluid you did and well. super smooth. You did well. You guys enjoy the outtakes and also make sure to follow us on Instagram and check us out on the Patreon. And thanks for having us. This was a really fun tour. Hi guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles and welcome back to Palm Beach, Florida. Freaking plane again. Uh, they do it on purpose. We are on board of a flagship vessel of a very well known shipyard. Yeah. 
Ja. En? <laughs> you almost ate it. Ja, yeah. alright. Ready? Oof. And you were not filming. No, but I would it. <laughs> focus. Okay, focus. We're Let's doing go. the tour. Yeah. We're having too much Sorry. fun with the Australian over there. <laughs> He's been distracted by the exit. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> right, ready? Let's go. You're always wondering what, what do you do with the accent line, uh, excess line. Yeah. Accent. Accent. Think of accent again. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, this is going to end up being in our video. I can tell yeah, already. That's an outtake already. All right, let's go. And the proper, uh, proper form of dining. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Panasonic. Wait, does, we don't, you know, the name of it. Let's just say microwave. I was joking. Yeah. And so, so yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. All right, I'll go ahead. Oh, you just pressed the sh toilet. No, it knows I'm here. No. Because oh, you, did I? Yeah. Sorry, toilet. I didn't mean to. 